This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, build your online presence with Squarespace. Hey everyone, I'm Ace of Clay and welcome to another sculpting video. If you're new here, I'm a sculptor and every week I make a new sculpture. And in today's video, we're going back into the mutant universe and I'm introducing you to the next guide. You get to meet Windsor, the owl guide. Be sure to stick around for the whole video as I will be going through this guy's entire backstory and lore. And then before we get started, don't forget about the Series 2 Mutant Universe trading cards. I still have a few of these left. They are available at aceofclay.com. The link is in the description box below. The entire collection features nine brand new cards along with two chases, so grab them before they're gone. And now without further ado, let's meet the Owl Guide. All right, here we go. I've got my wooden plaque with two holes drilled for my aluminum wire, and I'm shaping out the Owl Guide's torso and legs. And then of course, all the tools and materials you see me use in this video are listed in the description box below, along with my affiliate links if you wanna purchase anything. Now I'm just figuring out what I want his pose to be, and then adding his arms as another piece of wire with some floral wire. And because I'm feeling a little impatient today, I'm just gonna bulk out his torso with some aluminum foil instead of ultralight, cause I don't have to wait for this to bake. And he's so skinny, it doesn't matter, I'm not using a ton of foil anyway. Now before I add my clay, I just want to brush on some Bacon Bond because it'll make the clay stick really well and I don't have to worry about any air bubbles forming. Because you know if there's air under the clay, you're going to get cracks, so make sure there's no air. Now I'm just going to add another piece of wire for his neck and then we can start working on his legs. The guides are a source of good who spend their lives servicing the living and navigating the realms of the mutant universe. Once targeted by the entity, the guides' pure hearts withstood the evil unleashed upon them. They lost their original identity and took on the face of an animal and possessed one of its dominant traits. Today, we meet Windsor, the Owl Guide. Now before I start adding details to his pants, I just want to finish off his boots. And then we'll start off his pant legs with a little snake of clay and then add a bunch of other snakes of clay to create a bunch of folds and wrinkles. And then of course we're going to continue the wrinkles all the way up. After that first leg's looking pretty good, let's go ahead and do the other one off camera, because that's redundant if I don't. There we go, they're both done. Uh, if only it was really that fast. Now let's go ahead and work on his arms. We're gonna do these the same way as the legs, I just wanna position my wire before I start adding my clay. And this is one of my favorite tricks. Instead of wire wrapping extra wire around your armature, just brush on some bacon bond and the clay will stick just fine. You don't have to go through that extra longer step. This is much faster and in my opinion, just as effective. And then before we go any further, we gotta give him a little neck. Now I'm gonna finish off the top of his pants with a flattened snake of clay, and then I'm going to blend the bottom part in with the rest, like this, and voila, he's got pants. Now by twisting these snakes of clay together, you can see it's turning into rope. And this is gonna be his belt that's also gonna hold a little sack. And 
and now I'm gonna make that little bag from this teardrop shape and just completely ignore that other belt I added. I take that off because I didn't like how it looked. Windsor comes from a small, extremely poor village where he and his family would constantly struggle to survive. He embodied selfless love and would often hunt to feed his family as well as the entire village. He was a skilled hunter, often working at night and spending his entire human existence providing for others. After finishing off his pants, we're going to go ahead and add some snakes of clay to create folds and wrinkles on his shirt. And this probably would have been easier if I would have done this before I finished the top of the pants, but I make it work anyway. And I absolutely love the shape of the tip on this rubber shaper tool from Nerdy Crafters Kit. I use it all the time. Now he's going to be wearing this sort of shawl cape thing and I'm making that out of cosplay because cosplay stays flexible after you bake it and we don't want this to crack. So we're going to go through a little bit of trial and error here, but my goal in combination with his mask that he'll be wearing that will look like an owl, of course, I want this to kind of look like an owl's body, like an abstract owl's body. If you see him from the distance, it just looks like a little owl perched upon a tree. You'll see what I mean. I think I achieve it. This is the final draft right here. Just getting it to work. there we go I finally got it and he's got this big like sort of turtleneck shape around there which I like now let's make his staff out of another piece of wire and some more cosplay and this staff is actually magical it can transform and you'll learn about that in the lore portion of this video I just want to cover my wire in the cosplay and then we'll give it a little wood texture later on Now, before we get into the rest of the video, let's take a second to talk about our sponsor, Squarespace. Whether you're a big business, a small business, a freelance designer, or sculptor like me, Squarespace has everything you need to showcase your brand, sell your products, and more. I've been using Squarespace for over three years now, even before they started sponsoring me, and I could not be happier with my experience. Their products are so streamlined and so easy to use that managing my website, aceofclay.com, is truly a breeze. Some of my favorite features include the portfolios and galleries. In my line of work, I have to show everything that I make to the world and Squarespace's beautiful portfolios allow me to do just that. I even opened my online store where I sell stickers, posters, even original sculpts and Squarespace makes everything so easy. I can track my inventory, even print shipping labels, I get notifications when I get a sale, and everything I need is right there in the platform. You can even sell digital downloads, they really have everything you need to start selling online. And at this day and age, if you're an online business, you've got to have a social media presence and Squarespace allows you to integrate all your social media into any page of your website. So if everything I said sounds good, head on over to squarespace.com, start a free trial, and when you're ready to go live, go to squarespace.com slash aceofclay to save 10% on your purchase of a website or domain using my code aceofclay. Thanks again Squarespace for sponsoring this video, now back to our sculpture. And here's that wood texture I promised. This is the opposite end of that Nerdy Crafter rubber shaper. It's not a ball, it's more of like an arrowhead and it creates such great lines. I love it. All right, now let's take a break from his body and accessories and make his head, covering this ball of aluminum foil with some clay. And by the way, this is Super Sculpey Living Doll. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. And I'm just creating this nice little egg shape and then we're just gonna start working on his mask. First we're gonna make a little pizza and then stick the pizza on his face like that and then start shaping out the owl's features. And I originally wanted the mask to have horns like a great horned owl because I just thought it looked more powerful but 
I don't like how that looks when I start doing the face and I actually go with a more barn owl type owl face and I like it a lot better. I think it looks more innocent and soft. So I'm glad I did that and I'm glad I didn't do the horns. I think the barn owl look fits his personality very well. One evening during one of his hunts, Windsor was attacked by the entity in an effort to turn him into a mutant, but like the other guides, his purity and selflessness withstood the evil unleashed upon him, and he was transformed into the Owl Guide. This is the part I get through the ugly phase and I'm at the light at the end of the tunnel and I'm really liking how this is looking. It's exactly how I pictured it. Now I'm just going to use my explorer tool to create some cracks because this guy's been through a lot and finish him off. Now that everything's looking pretty good, I'm going to attach his staff and then we can bake him. We're going to do this whole thing in one bake. <laughs> To put the staff in his hands, I'm just wrapping that extra wire around the staff, and then I'm going to sculpt his hands over the wire. After being transformed, Windsor is the only guide who did not completely abandon his former life. Even though he is not able to be present in his role as he used to, he still hunts and provides for his village. Food will appear on their tables unexpectedly, and everyone will be able to eat for weeks. Now the back of his head is just going to be a hood. We don't know what this guy looks like at all and it's just going to be a hood covering the entire thing. So I'm going ahead adding this little pointy piece to the back here. And this would have been much easier to do if I would have pre-baked the head first. Now I'm just going to use this little forky pokey tool to create a little cross-hatching texture to give the illusion of fabric and then we're going to attach it and get him in the oven. Uh, but before we bake him I just want to dab some bacon bond on the surface with my paintbrush to give it a subtle texture. And there we go it's time to bake him. Did this whole thing in one bake. And once he's baked and completely cooled down, it's time for paints. I'll be using army paints and folk art matte acrylics. Let's give him some dark brown pants. That first brown wasn't dark enough for me. And then work our way up. Now I'm going with a nice midnight blue for his shirt. In his guide form, Windsor possesses extreme vision and hearing. With his own eyes alone, he can see miles into the distance and hyper focus his hearing to listen to even the quietest of sounds, even the sound of ants' feet tapping along the ground. He is fast and carries with him a large magical wooden staff that can be stiff like a branch and walking stick or limp and be used as a rope, whichever he chooses. Now I want to paint his shawl light gray. I want this to almost be white so it matches his mask and like I mentioned earlier, looks like an owl's body from a distance.
Now let's get some of his accessories painted. I'm just dirtying up his shawl a little bit because you know he's been through a lot he's he's been through the woods and I'm using some dark brown wash we're just gonna put that on wipe off the excess and then we'll add some white highlights later on Now let's get his white mask painted so he matches the other guides, except Whisper, because Whisper's mask is wooden. If Windsor is to assist you, he will appear suddenly and without warning. He will pull you out of harm's way with his staff, and both of you will disappear into the distance away from the mutant that seeks you, and completely out of harm's way. He speaks only when absolutely necessary, and uses short, direct phrases. He has never failed a rescue mission. And that's Windsor the Owl Guide. Now to give the mask some visible wear and tear and make it look a little more dimensional, let's add some black wash to that. Brush off the surface. I just want this to be very subtle. Now to add the highlights to the hood and shirt, I'm just using some light blue and dry brushing that on. Now let's get that magic staff painted. Let's get some black on his gloves and his eyes and on his boots and the base. Now say it with me. And he is done! Windsor the Owl Guide is complete. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. It was so nice to go back to the Mutant Universe this week and make a good character. I love this guy's story. I love how the sculpt came out and I really hope you enjoyed the entire process. And as always, thank you so much for watching and being here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at Aesop Clay, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.